guys today is part one of the moving vlog series we are just pre-packing today and we are getting our keys in two days which i'm so excited about so our apartment community is very brand new they just opened up a few months ago but our building just opened up a few days ago because it was still under construction so that's why jeffrey and i weren't able to move in sooner and yeah i'm just excited to go get our keys uh, i kind of want to give you guys a rundown of what's going on right now so jeffrey and i we are not fully moving until october 21st and today is october 13th we don't get our keys until october 15th so we are pre-packing i know a week early but we decided to pre-pack a little bit so we can bring the small things to our new apartment and then just worry about the bigger things later. We're also having our family help us move. I'm honestly so grateful for them because we don't have to hire any movers. You guys know that I'm getting rid of my desk. Well, I'm trying to get rid of it, but it seems like no one's really interested in my desk. And I'm also getting rid of my dining table as well. Our main big furniture that we have to worry about is just our mirror, dresser, and our couch and TV console. I don't really know when I'm getting my new mattress yet, but I did send it to the new apartment. So we might be sleeping on an air mattress for maybe a few weeks or a few days. So we'll see how that goes. Our new apartment is so new that, that sometimes we can't locate it if we were to send a package there for some odd reason. I don't know, I just got an email from a brand that I'm working with and they just emailed me this morning and said that they could not locate our address, which is so strange because I've been using that address to send most of my PR packages there. So I'm a little worried. I just don't know how we're going to deal with that. Also, you guys, yesterday my hula bronzer broke and it fell on my bath mat. Let me show you guys. It fell on my bath mat and I didn't even realize that it was my hula bronzer. So it looks like that now. So I am going to have to go and buy some new bath mats even though I just got these like not too long ago. Here is how my living space looked like. You guys saw that in the last vlog I organized this up. So we aren't going to move these boxes until next weekend. I'm not too sure if I want to give this little rack away or not. But I don't know, we'll see because I haven't used it in the past three years except to put like random stuff on. And then I am also getting rid of my desk and chair. Sadly, Jeffrey also has to get rid of his desk, but we're going to keep his chair. Our apartment comes with a little den as well, so it's not big enough to fit his desk. So we are actually giving it away. But I am really hungry right now, so for the time being, I'm going to heat up the egg rolls that I made last night. I have my cooked egg rolls here. And I made some peanut sauce last night. So I'm going to eat this because I am super hungry and I need to fuel my body. I made a TikTok video the other day on making egg rolls for dinner. So if you guys want to see that video, go check out my TikTok. First area we are actually going to tackle is our closet in our kitchen. We use this as like a shoe closet. We are going to move this on Sunday so we don't have to worry about smelly shoes around my family. just finished cleaning out the closet i'm still going to keep this but we won't be able to move it until next week so now that we have this done we are going to do the laundry i need to do the laundry because i need to pack um a few clothes that i want to bring with us um, whenever we go pick up our keys so this is the load of laundry that we've been piling up for the past two weeks so i'm going to tackle that and go ahead and get that out of the way Who's to know what happens when the world ends? At least this is a no case. I was kind of figuring out what clothes I wanted to bring back with me on Sunday, but I'm just not sure. This is still so hot in North Carolina, so I don't really know what I'm going to bring. 
I mean, I'm definitely going to bring, like, these, like, casual cute dresses with me because it's not like I'm going to wear them at all. I'm just going to keep a lot of the comfy clothes here. I'm not really sure if I want to do the trash bag method for these clothes as well and just, like, add in the trash bag underneath so I can just hang it whenever we get there or if I want to put it in this vacuum seal bag. I don't really know. Um, cause in this bag I have like a lot of my like coats and fall and winter clothes But again, you guys, it's so hot in North Carolina that I don't really know What I want to leave here And then, um, in these two suitcases I have, uh, more coats and jackets in here But I'm going to try to figure out something And then, and then I do have those baskets up there And then these boxes that I'm also going to bring and just bring in this and then I think we're also going to bring this with us because these are just like accessories that I'm not going to be wearing anytime soon and then also for this I have to leave this here I might take it I don't know because it's just like extra storage but I do have some socks in there which I'm going to take out but yeah other than that that's the plan and we're just going to see what clothes we're going to bring with us and let's do this little b-roll sweeping it under the rug is what we're best at would you just give me a hug i don't think this is going to work so we're going to use the vacuum seal method now i feel just like my mug so satisfying I just have the hangers in here and I just fold it in. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Tomorrow and Sunday. Oh, I'm in the I'm in the original. It's okay. <laughs> Ooh, this one looks too thick. Yeah. Did you try? Lazy girl packing oh. 101. It came off. Sweeping it under. Far, Jeffrey's putting the last bit of clothes that we're going to bring with us on Sunday into the vacuum seal bag But this is how our closet is looking like right now So there is definitely a change it feels so empty in here But we got rid of most of my clothes and Jeffrey's section was just right here So he didn't have much and then I think um we're gonna have to wait to bring these with us next week because we just don't have enough of the vacuum seal bags. So we are just going to leave this here for the time being. We're also going to be staying here for an extra week. So we have to leave some of the clothes here with us because or else we're not gonna have any clothes to change into. But yeah, so far this is just a little closet update. And then let me show you guys all of the vacuum seal bags that we're bringing with us. So this is majority of our clothes. I think it's just better to put it in these vacuum seal bags because it's so much easier to transport. So I think right now we're going to put all of those into our car and just see how everything is going to look like. the next day we are up early because we're going back to my family today we are celebrating one of my cousin's birthday we're going to the pumpkin patch and then we're making pho it's honestly a good day to eat pho today because of the weather i think this will be like my fifth time going to a pumpkin patch i feel like that's a world record to be honest yeah we're just going to spend some quality time with my family today is just going to be a really really chill vlog i'm going to try to vlog as much as i can because i feel like i don't really vlog much side of my family i also want to stop by tj maxx and home goods 
possibly i want to see if i can get any like home decors especially for christmas like i said in my last vlog i didn't get the chance to decorate for fall so i kind of want to decorate for christmas i think we're also going to get a brand new christmas tree which i'm so so excited oh and i also did a little bubble braid in the back because my hair is super oily I'm currently about to head out right now so i'll see you guys in a bit Everything goes white I can feel the breeze Euphoric delight Only you and me Pour your honey sickly sweet Keeps me coming, got me weak You could kill me, I'd still be Darling, your number six feet deep. Oh, it's real hard to break this habit. It's like I want you 24 7. When I'm without you, boy, I feel safe. Think you look better than my prescriptions. Nothing feels as good as you do. officially the next day and today is the day that we officially go and pick up our keys um, we still need to load some more things into jeffrey's car yesterday i spent the whole day with my family we went to the pumpkin patch and then we also had pho for dinner we also just played a little game and then after that we went to the Oktoberfest back in my hometown and it was just so fun but it was really really cold last night also one thing that i forgot to mention is that i have to unbox one of the boxes that i already taped up because i forgot to take out the measuring tape so now i have to dig in there to see if i can find it in one of the boxes stay high for a minute tongue tied i don't want to go home Found it. but I'm really not bored. So used to chase it. You guys, I am sweating so much, but we just finished getting everything situated in Jeffrey's car. We are currently about to hit the road. We're actually going to go get something to eat first, and then we will be on our way to Charlotte and go and get our keys, which I'm so excited about. So I'll see you guys in a bit. We just arrived to our apartment complex. We're about to go get the keys right now. I'm going to go ahead and end off the vlog right here. I'm going to film an empty apartment tour after this, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the empty apartment tour, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Sorry if I overthink situations with you and me. TBH, I need CBP. TBH.